Uh, my name is uh, Moons Lukke and I'm the CEO of uh, Ecomove. And uh, Ecomove is a company doing, uh, among other things, a in-wheel motor system um, based on, on this unit where we have a ultra-compact uh, high-speed motor, a small uh, ratio converter, and uh, otherwise everything is included in this system. We have uh, traditional disc brakes, calibers, we have uh, hand brakes uh, included in the system, and uh, the power of this system is approximately uh, 50 horsepower. Uh, so two-wheel drive is uh, 100 horsepower, and uh, four-wheel drive is uh, 200 horsepower. Um, the, the system here is uh, liquid cooled, uh, and that's one of the reasons why we can actually get a lot of uh, power out of the, out of this uh, unit. And what markets are you in? What markets are you serving? Um, the, the markets we are serving is actually people who uh, see the idea of using in-wheel motors. Uh, today, maybe not that many, but in the future we expect it to be uh, a lot more popular than today uh, because there are some safety issues involved in having the full control of, of each vehicle. Uh, we get rid of the differential uh, and a lot of uh, other things by, by having the, the power directly in the wheel. Uh, on top of that, we have developed a suspension system. It's, it's not mandatory to use this suspension system together with our in-wheel motor. It supports different suspension systems. But uh, by using this, we, we get a really lightweight system. Um, everything here is uh, a little bit more than 20 kilos, um, which is comparable to a uh, front wheel on a traditional <laughs> family car. So uh, this unit uh, is either fixed or it can be the front wheel steering. Um, yeah, and you can actually configure it uh, the way you want. One of the things we can do that most of the others with in-wheel motors can't is that we, we have a low weight, uh, so what is considered unsprung mass is really not an issue. So that's the main difference in this system towards other other systems. And so, uh, how do you think yours uh, is better on price? What's what's your look on the price yeah, of these? Price-wise, since since this system is is really uh, a very incomplex system, we actually aim for a very low production price on this in in mass volume. Of course, it depends on the configuration, but. We aim for a production price in the range of 1,000 to 2,000 euros per, per unit, which makes it uh, attractive for mass, uh, mass production cars and volume.